Digiverted Man here. There's an awful lot of negative police videos out there as of late. Police just utterly breaking the Constitution and the law. I, I just watched one where a police officer reached into somebody's apartment to grab them and pull them out. And then they're just kind of going in there and grabbing people and pulling them out. You can't do that. You can't do that. But they did it. Uh, this other one, which I suspect of being fake, uh, this guy parkoured over two police people, and they arrested him. I think that one's fake. Usually those those prank, all those prank channel stuff is fake. Uh, usually a video like that, probably fake. I mean, come on. Parkour over a couple of police officers sitting there chilling out. That's not very bright, you know? It, it, it's not. It's not smart. Uh... But should you be arrested for it? No. Uh, should you be detained for it? No. Should you be told, don't do that? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, come on now. We're trying, we're just chilling here. You know, come on, please. You know. Uh, but the positive police videos are few and far between the the one that i that comes to recent memory is the police officer shows up at a noise complaint and his kids playing basketball and he plays basketball with them and then later on uh shaq gets in on the mix uh in a, in a second you know revisit to this uh so he gets some great pr for himself he tells the kids a positive message uh and it's it, everybody's a hero so when the police department does that and they are actively role models in the community, everybody wins. And it used to be this way. But it, for whatever reason, isn't this way anymore. So people have lost their respect for law enforcement because they are breaking the laws, which they shouldn't be doing. And why are they doing that and why are they getting away with it? And one potential solution has come from a, a community in Sharpstown, Texas, that said, you know what, we're just firing the police department. We're hiring a, a private a security firm instead. The crime rate has gone down. Uh, citizen response to this uh, security thing has, is positive. You're not, seeing, you're not seeing the problems that we saw with the police. There's no special protection for these people there's no they're not immune and they're not above the law which in many cases as much as we hate to admit it police officers are police officers also are paramilitary in that if you there was a reality show quite some time ago uh that showed uh, the training for police officers and it's very much military -esque. it's it's you know you have your uniform you're doing push-ups you're you're running around these obstacle courses you're getting yelled at you're you know you have to you know wake up at a certain time it's very very boot camp style and so the military-esque paramilitary sort of aspect of being a police officer does not translate well into handling situations and that's that's a problem you know uh we're seeing we're seeing this more because people are filming more which is good uh but we're not seeing a good positive response from the police agencies now i think if it works in this small town why don't we do this nationwide Right? Why don't we just fire all the police and say, forget it, we're just hiring private security firms. And whichever one does the best, that's who's going to get, you know, our business. And they'll hire more people than the police force could anyways. Um, so there will be more jobs. Yes, some of the uh, police people will, you know, say, okay, well, I'm losing my job here. I'm losing all this pension and all the stuff that I gained here. Uh, is that fair? Uh, no. But, you know, if we're going to dissolve it, we have to do it in a way that is fair to all these people that have put their lives on the line because they're not all bad. And we want to recognize, hey, look, there's good people, there's bad people. We're going to dissolve this agency in a way that makes sense where people are going to get funds. But what's going to happen is 
if you want it, you're gonna get the first top of the list of interviewed uh, to be in this security firm cool good great wonderful that way you know there's a smooth transition and all that um, are there negatives of course to having a security firm rather than a uh, you know the normal police that we've had for ages I don't know I, I really don't because this is uh, 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 untested it is being tested by this town and they're having positive results right now but let's see years down the line right uh, I think that because they are saving money uh, other cities will adopt this and try it out because it is a way to save money and if it doesn't work out you can always go well we'll rehire the police department there's really, there really isn't anything stopping you from doing that as a city. Uh, yeah, maybe the former police people will be a little bit miffed that they lost their job, had to go reapply for their job, and then, you know, lost that and then had to go reapply again. But, you know, hey, politics. Sometimes, you know, things like that happen, and, and, and unfortunately, you know, it's, it sucks. But and, and the other the other potential solution is that uh, this is being done, I believe, in Europe and other other nations. Is the police have to wear this um, camera mounted on their chest, so like right here, like an Iron Man sort of thing, and they can't cover. It can't be covered. It, it is always on. It's always broadcasting, and so this is is, is accountability. So if you are doing something illegal as a police officer, the station knows it, the internet knows it, everybody knows it immediately, and that's it. You're you're toast. You're fired. It's not you get paid vacation. It's just you're you're that's it. But the the problem is that the police have special protections, whereas a regular citizen that's part of a security firm wouldn't. Uh, so I, I don't know that that is the solution, but I think that we need to uh, start addressing the root causes of police not behaving as role model citizens. Which, like that one, that one officer who plays b-ball with the kids, that's great. We want to see more of that, right? That makes me like, dude, I want to live where that police you know operation is but that's just one guy yes he made everybody else look good because he decided to do something good but that's how all police people should be I, I remember when I was younger police were looked up to now they're looked down on and how do they change that well they change it first I think by stop breaking the law they can't just break the law when they feel like it and they need to also stop being bullies you know stop uh harassing people and arresting people for for nothing you know be nice people be good people be outstanding citizens but maybe that's asking a lot from them for what they get paid which by the way the security firm can pay its people better and hire more people and cost the city less overall than the police department does go figure on that <laughs> so it's it you know it's like it's a win 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 all the way around right but there is got to be a negative there's always a negative so what do you think that negative could be what do you think we should do is is monitoring our police with with 24 7 uh, as long as they're on duty obviously uh cameras mounted on them is that the way to go is it fire the police departments hire security firms is that the way to go or is it complain enough to the police departments a a until they start having some accountability and have all their police officers be outstanding citizens, part of the community that they live in, uh, and then we won't see this sort of stuff anymore. What is the answer, or is there multiple answers? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This has been Talking Points with Deconverted Man. Blah, 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 blah. Blah.
bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Run away! No, don't, don't run away. Uh, that's, that's, just don't, an, don't, don't, don't take legal advice from me because I'm not a lawyer. But don't run away, though. So, don't, don't do that. Just, just stay calm and, and you know, 